are you doing too much math, right? Is, is that a thing? Is it possible to, to do too much? I think the answer is yes, right? We all experience burnout uh, in many ways in life, not just from math, but from other things that we encounter in life and other responsibilities and things that we have to do. Uh, but math is really tough. So math can lead to burnout uh, really quickly. Now, let me just emphasize that there's a difference between like burnout and not wanting to do math, right? I'm sure you've had times where you come home and you sit down and you think, okay, I have to do this homework uh, because it's, there's a test coming up and I don't really want to do it. I would rather go, you know, play League of Legends, or I love League of Legends, by the way, or or I would rather, um, you know, go outside and, and go for a walk or, or whatever, right? That's not burnout, right? That's just not having the motivation to do things. That that's a completely different scenario. So burnout happens when you have just worked so hard that you just can't work anymore, right? You've just burnt yourself out. Burnout occurs at, at different levels, right? Uh, some people will, will get tired of doing math after 30 minutes. Some can go for two hours. Some can go for, for five hours. A lot depends on, on your mental and, and physical health. That's why it's important uh, to take breaks. Age is also a factor. Uh, when I went to graduate school, I met this uh, professor. Um, yeah, I won't mention his name. And he's retired now. I'm not sure if he's, he was living anymore. Um, he had gotten his PhD from Harvard, this guy. And he was a complex analysis. He was French. And I remember I went to his office and he was just like greeting me, like, hello, welcome, just to introduce me to the school. And I asked him, you know, what was it like to do research? And he looked at me and he said, well, you know, research requires, you know, just tons of effort and time, right? You have to just sit there for extended periods of time, right? And work on math for like extended periods of time and like pour over books. He said he would have 10, 15 books all laid out over the table and papers he had printed, just searching for ideas, right? Looking for ideas and for ways to figure out how to solve the problem that he was working on. And he said that when he was younger, he could do this for hours. But now that at his, at his age, and he was in his uh, late 60s, he said that he could only work for maybe three or four hours. And when he said that, I thought, wow. So he can still work for three or four hours before he burns out, right? Many people can't even handle one hour of, of like intense, intense focus. So burnout, uh, doing too much math occurs at, at different levels for different people. Obviously this guy was a professional, world-renowned mathematician. So even in his late 60s, he could still perform like four hours of like super concentrated math work. Um, not the case uh, for many people. Uh, so I guess when he was younger, he could do it for 10 hours, right? So how do you, how do you combat burnout? How do you fight it? Well, I think you should you know, do things that you like to do for fun, right? Some people like to go run, like that, that's their thing, right? Uh, I can't run, my, my legs are weak. I, I, <laughs> I'm not a good runner. Um, some people like to lift weights, some people swim, some people surf, some people go to the beach, video games. Generally, I think um, something physical is, is really good, especially uh, to counteract the math burnout. Because when you do math, you're doing it sitting down. So by getting some physical activity, uh, that, that seems to help. Uh, when I was in grad school, I had a friend uh, from Saudi Arabia, and he was, this guy was really smart. And we were talking one day, and I told him that uh, I liked uh, to wash dishes <laughs> While I was doing math because I had a thing like I'd, I'd work on a math problem for a while I'm like, oh, oh, let me go. Let me go wash the dishes or oh, 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 let me go cook, right? I wanted to do anything except keep working because I was so burnt out and he said that he found it therapeutic So he would he would purposely take breaks and do chores around the house And I kind of found comfort in that knowing that I wasn't the only one right? I wasn't the only one that struggled from like from this burnout from from doing so much math so when you're working on math and you're, and you're feeling burnt out, um, just keep in mind, it's normal, right? You're a human being just like everyone else and everyone burns out. So it's okay to take a break, right? It's okay. Take care.